Hey what's up guys it's me Kabir2004 and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now I hate a 20 tutorial video start off with like like subscribe all that bull****. So I'm just gonna tell you, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're gonna talk about today. Live wallpapers in Windows 10 with library wallpaper and how do you do it. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into the description and open the link that is rockdanister.github.io slash lively. It will take you to the main home page of the Lively Wallpaper software. You can read, welcome or about or features if you want to. But what we're actually here for is the download page. So you go here and you can use the installer which will download an EXE and you can use that to set it up. But installers give smart screen warnings and you know you may not want to deal with that. But if you think you can then sure you're free to go with the installer. It's, it's just a basic .exe you double click it and it will install itself. But we're going to use Microsoft Store so you click get it from Microsoft and it will open up the Microsoft Store. You click the Get button, open the Microsoft Store and then you can click the free button over here that will show up because you haven't installed it but since I have, it shows me the Launch button. So after you've installed it, after it's downloaded, click Launch and you will be inside Lively Wallpaper. I'm just gonna close out all this from the background and now you have Lively Wallpaper available. You can set any of these predefined preset ones um, they're pretty cool and the ones that are customizable you can actually go in and change them like this one is customizable rain particles so if you go into customize wallpaper there are several settings that you can change like for, suppose you want to change the background so you can change its side view of, of a city and uh, you know conifer dawn something like that blur quality high you know stuff like that and yeah basically it changes how it looks and while we're here I also want to mention that some things like this um, will take a heavy hit on your system like they don't affect me much because my computer is relatively beefy but if you're run, trying to run this on an integrated graphic card or something um, it may have some performance issues so you may want to check that out if it doesn't work I suggest just going back to ordinary wallpapers or trying some of the lighter ones that are available here like the periodic table for example it's an it's a fully interactive not fully but yeah it responds to your mouse um, it's a periodic table so you know got a chemistry test tomorrow use this I'm just kidding I do not condone cheating um, but there are some other options available like the eternal light one for example will be very GPU heavy and then you've got fluids v2 which is open which uses OpenGL for fluid simulations that respond to your mouse again so even this will be quite GPU heavy so you know Depending on your system, you can choose which is the best one for you. I like the jellyfish one, so I'm going to stick with that because the jellyfish does its own thing even when you're not watching and you can use your mouse to interact with the jellyfish, like you can turn it around and if you click on it, it responds to your clicks. So it's pretty cool. Now let's just go over the settings real quick. Um, you have several settings available here. So in the general section, you have start with windows, which you should leave on because lively wallpaper needs to run in the background for wallpaper playback. So if you leave that on, you, it will start up when Windows boots up every time and your wallpaper will be up and ready to go. And then the other settings are pretty basic. You should use the dark theme unless you want to burn your eyes out. Um, not that the light theme is really bad. Suppose you're playing a game. This is where you can change a few settings if like you're playing Call of Duty and the live wallpaper is affecting your system perform is affecting your in-game performance. You can change some things here, like if an application is full screen, then you can make the wallpaper pause in the background and stop running. That way you may not take an FPS hit in your games. When an application is focused, you can set it to pause. Basically, you can set it to pause when you're not on the desktop. And that will save up quite a few system resources if your system cannot handle the wallpaper in the background. And but then moving over to the wallpaper section, then you have different basic default wallpaper, sec uh, default wallpaper settings that you can change. Um, like the video quality and stuff. I did not change any of these. Um, they're just the default values and the default values run pretty well for me So I'm not going to touch them. Audio. Now some wallpapers can come with audio in them as well I have my master volume set to zero, but you can um, The software does allow you to add your own wallpapers or even set a YouTube video as your you know as your Wallpaper, for example, I'll just bring up a video from my YouTube channel and set it up as my wallpaper. Now, let's say you want this video to be set as your wallpaper for whatever reason. Yes. And um, you can take the link. Um, you don't need that. 
can take the link for the video, copy it, go into Lively Wallpaper and um, delete the existing link, paste your own link and set go and it will load in the video into your Lively Wallpaper. So you click OK, the video will be available and you can set it as your wallpaper. If I minimize, as you can see, this is the, this is the actual YouTube video, um, it's playing and yeah, now if I go over here and go back to settings, go to audio and I can increase the wallpaper volume so I can hear the video. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so if you have a favorite YouTube video or anything like that, you can set that as your wallpaper. I'm just gonna go back to Jellyfish for now. And you can even delete the wallpapers that you have downloaded. So that's pretty awesome. One quick thing that I forgot to mention in the video is that you can also download and put your own videos. I have mentioned the YouTube video thing, but you can browse a file on your uh, on your PC and you can set that, um, like if you have a favorite video or something, you can set that as your wallpaper. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's basically it. There's, you can even download a GIF. Um, there are several ones available online and there are some really cool ones. You can even go to the reddit which is reddit.com slash r slash lively wallpaper and there will be some pretty amazing ones available. I've seen some like minecraft ones that I really like and you know um, like yeah the reddit community is pretty amazing so you can download some of these and basically that's it and yeah that's pretty much it for lively wallpaper miscellaneous system tray icon and debug off you don't need the developer menu unless you're doing something really advanced yeah you don't you may not need this for whatever reason. Um, so I'm just going to keep that set to off and yeah that basically covers everything there is you should play around with customized wallpaper settings a bit more some of them which have customizable mentioned here are pretty awesome so if you customize the wallpaper you can set this one to rainbow for example so it does rainbow instead and if you go and customize and turn off the rainbow it sets to a single color which is this one so that's pretty awesome and yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe, like, you know. This is where tutorials should actually do the whole like subscribe thing. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Um, wait, before you go, I don't actually do tutorials. This is just the first one on my channel. Um, I regularly do videos talking about gaming and sometimes tech and I try to upload weekly. So yeah, you could subscribe for that you know if you're interested in that but otherwise yeah have a nice day